runs away. Hi Easy. guys. Shoes don't go is on the You're welcome. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome. I know. I know. I'm being a bad mom tonight. Burger King for dinner, Valencia. Burger King. Because it's late and it's past their bedtimes, and I still have a ton of laundry to fold. You don't even wanna see my living room right now. It doesn't even look like a living room. It looks like a dry cleaning establishment. These are your clothes for tomorrow. Put them on your trunk, please. Thank you. Oh, I gotta find something for Max in this massive pile of I don't know what. Oh, underwear. That's good. Is Donkey Baby awake now? Donkey, let me give him a kiss awake. I love you. You rubbing it in. Good morning, Princess. Good morning. Good morning. I love you. Literally, I have like, ooh, not even five minutes to get ready. Oh my gosh. To get out of this house. Unlike yesterday, I am drinking water. Cheers to you. I need to drink a lot more water. I think yesterday somebody asked me if this was vitamin C. This is not vitamin C. This is um, hyaluronic filler. Supposed to plump up any lines that you don't want in your face. I like to put this on pretty much all over my face, but my under eye area for sure. And then before I just put on this Vital C anti-aging serum this one has vitamin c a and e oils in it and that's why it's in a dark canister you know what i'm saying but this one is not vitamin c this one is hyaluronic filler and then oh this one is another moisturizer i do like to put on eyebrows if i do nothing at all i wonder if i look like that scary lady you know, that scary lady that just has eyebrows on. Like, oh my gosh, does she not know that we know that she drew those on? So I've really been on, I've really been on the struggle bus, y'all. Um, I don't even think I'm going to untie that because that's just some tomfoolery right there. But what I can do is relay my edges, right? Because you're nothing without edges. I've been nothing for a long time, man. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but yeah, I'm on the struggle bus. Prayers needed, for sure, pertaining to everything in my life, y'all. And I woke up praying this morning in deep prayer. I don't know, I have anxiety right now. And uh, it's not good, I'm dealing with it. But I have some, you know, anxiety that I'm dealing with right now. And it's not quite debilitating, but I feel like it's weighing heavily on me and it's affecting like my general overall health at this point. And I'm, I'm just like constantly like just thinking about it. I'm just constantly praying about it because I know I shouldn't be feeling this way, you know because the victory is already the Lord. So I don't even know why like I'm, I'm tripping out, but it's something that I'm dealing with. And uh, yeah, I don't know if anybody else deals with anxiety that you've self-diagnosed yourself with. I don't take anything for it. 
You know what I'm saying? But yesterday morning, I know it was my anxiety was so bad because I just wanted to like literally throw up. Like throw up is one of those words that is I feel like it's 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 like one of those words that is just so disgusting that it makes you want to throw up. Just thinking about throw up makes me want to throw up. So I wish there was another word to, to be replaced by that. It makes me want to empty the contents of my stomach. No, that's even worse. That's even worse. That is even worse. But yeah, um, yesterday is yesterday. Today is a new day. And... I don't like uncertainty. I guess that's what it is. I don't like uncertainty. Uncertainty bothers me. Um, I'm such a, again, a Scorpio, a creature of my like habitat. I like knowing that things are going to go a certain way every day. And then when they don't or have the possibility not to, like my whole world becomes very, um, to me, in my brain, unstable and instability like just brings out extreme anxiety in me and I don't know if anybody else is like that but girl it's it could be very debilitating and uh, I don't have time for things to be debilitating in my life so I have because you know I educate I got four kids and I have to keep it constantly ever moving and ever evolving and love and light and unicorn's breath, you know, and cupcakes and lucky charms. So she don't have time. I don't like this camera angle. It's making me look like something from another planet. But, um, oh, I gotta go. But yeah, so I just, um, So in order to combat that anxiety, like I literally wake up praying because I'm like, you know what? Oh, not, not today, not today, like not today. No, no devil. You cannot have the day for me. I will not be giving my God given energy away to you so that you can flourish like yeast in the wrong places. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I gotta get my twins to school. The boys are already gone. And then after that, I need to do something to relax. I was thinking about taking myself to a movie, but I don't even know what time the earliest movie starts. Cause I just feel like I need to get my mind off of some things. And uh, yeah, also I need to do some studying. I need to pull my books out. But uh, I, I really don't think that's gonna happen today. But I do have note cards. But I need to pull out my books to do some major studying. And I don't even know if I told y'all, but I had a job interview for a job that, you know, pays like, I think the starting rate is 40, but once you get through your year, plus bonuses and stuff like that, it's like a 60K job a year. And I had a job interview for that girl. And that stressed me out, like even more, it stressed me out because I'm just like, you know, you kind of get your hopes up when you go on a job interview. You're like, ooh, and you start thinking about what this job could do for you. And for me, I love the fact of any extra added income. I would never say no to uh, another job. Like, I'm all for multiple streams of revenue. So that was stressing me out, just having to, you know, get that process done and over with. And, you know, on top of that, just trying to do every, I don't want to say everything. Just doing stuff, cause it's not everything. It's stuff that you got to get done in your life. And just things that I need to get done in my life. And then like this impending dark cloud that's wavering over my life this month that I really, you know, just gotta deal with. But anyway, cheers to you water drinkers out there. Cheers to the moms that actually had time to take a shower this morning. Cheers to the moms that didn't have time to take a shower this morning and 
Your hoo-ha smells like yesterday's yesterday's. Girl. And cheers to just being alive. Let's go get these kids to school. Let's go, you ready for school? All right, let's go. Come on, Joe. What? No, you can't, come on, let's go. Okay. I feel, I feel like a kid because I carry a backpack around. I'm trying to determine if I'm fat or if it's all in my head. Because I feel like depending on what mirror or angle you catch yourself at, an additional five pounds can be added. I don't know. The sun is shining so bright, and that's what I need, y'all. I live in Florida, and it is 75 degrees and super sunny outside, so I decided to come to one of my favorite places to eat some salmon and a salad with a side of potatoes. I don't know what's going on with me lately. Um, I've not been able to eat like chicken or beef. It really does something to me. I don't know what it is, and I feel horrible like in my uterine area um so i ate this last night and i felt like a little bit better i felt like it wasn't as heavy on my stomach but i just haven't been feeling really well like it's really I was telling you guys this morning um i don't know whether it's anxiety that's making me feel this way in that area and bringing me to the point where i am completely nauseous um or if it's just that me having to completely take meat out of my diet also like bread bread and noodles and stuff oh my god that sun is super bright but anyway yeah i'm gonna eat and then i am going to go pick up the twins from vpk and the J. goes as usual which is karate homework home dinner showers all that jazz okay thanks Ooh, lunch is served you guys this is exactly what i needed have I ever told you that this is my favorite place it's my favorite place I need to finish my coffee and chat with you guys um before I leave first of all I want to give a shout out to a person that I feel like revived me. Yes, I'm wearing sunglasses because I'm just feeling shady today. I'm just playing. It's like, um, it's gonna be 70 degrees out. I don't have any makeup on and I really was suffering horribly from a horrible um, allergy induced migraine. And like when I woke up this morning, my eyes were all puffy and full of like ooze, you know, mucusy stuff. I'll spare you the details. But, and then on top of that, you know, life is life. And then as I was telling you guys the other day, sometimes you get down and I really have to remind myself to stay in the boat with the Lord and not jump off into the deep end in, in the flesh and really fight something that you really can't control. The water being <laughs> the comparative or analogy that I'm making but yeah you can't fight dangerous waters stormy waters there's nothing to hold on to you know so that's why you have to stay in the boat with God even if the boat starts rocking and you might get a little wet but um, that's okay because you're safe and secure in the boat and I have to tell myself that and I just want to give a big shout out to my friend Sandy I won't get misty eyed but we had such a good conversation because you know it's really hard for me to have like, besides y'all, I really do consider a large sum of you guys, a large number of you all, like really um, considerate supporters. 
and I don't even like the word supporters. I like the word like friends, family. That's why I'm like best friend, even if, you know, you guys get mad at me or if I get mad at you guys or whatever. And, you know, all of that, it's still a friendship, a community. But outside of that, I probably have, I have my mom to confide in. I have the Lord to confide in. Um, when me and my sister aren't, you know, being sisters, bickering, you know, I have her to confide in. Um, shout out to my sister. She's the most amazing big sister ever. And, um, but it's a really close circle because even with like the girlfriends that I have, I kind of keep certain things that I say very close in mom because I've had that experience when I've shared things with people outside of what I do, it can really come back to bite you because if somebody gets upset, it's like their way of trying to get back at you. Ooh, I'm about to go share juicy details of your life that nobody knew or would even know and they don't even know me, but you know, hey, I'm pissed off at you, so let me go add to why everybody should be pissed off at you. You know, one of those type of scenarios. So with new friends that come into the fray, I just don't do a lot of opening up because I never know uh, the motives of where things could go. And I'm okay with that, you know? I, I, I do feel like certain things you should, you don't need, you don't have to share with everybody. You know what I'm saying? You live, you learn, you grow. Okay, like a flower, do, do, do. So um, I tend to gravitate toward friendships with people who kind of do the same thing that I do and have that clear boundary of what we're going to share and what we're not going to share with everybody else in, in the event that we get upset with each other but it's not even a, that I would ever get upset with somebody so anyway um I was able to talk to my friend Sandy and you know I talked to Tony too from Tony and the boy Tony Daly you know I do consider them people that I can confide in just because they're so cool, they're so chill. Sandy's crazy, Tony's chill. Um, but, you know, people who understand the boundaries that you need to have and that source of confidentiality that you need to have when you talk and, and know that it's gonna remain here and got, not go anywhere else. So, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get misty eyed. Like, oh my gosh, like I'm all, I'm all, my, my, my sinuses are already doing too much. Like, for real. But there won't be any wine in this cup later. But if you want this mug, it's on my Teespring. I'll leave the link below. But I have not even been drinking. And I was telling Sandy, I'm like, girl, I'm just like under so much stress. I don't, I can't even like, I don't drink when I'm sad. I'm not one of those people that falls into the bottle or falls on the bottle when I'm sad. Like, I probably fall into more coffee and caffeinated beverages like Red Bull and stuff, which is probably eating the hell out of the lining of my stomach. But that's just me. But yeah, so, um... Shout out to Sandy for just being an awesome person, a friend, a listener, and being able to confide in. And she's awesome, y'all. And she's also a twin mom, so she gets it. Oh. But today is a much better day. I woke up. Again, I got to, you know, take my kids to school. I didn't uh, do anything after I sat outside with the pollen and my salmon because I really felt like, I'm like, you know what? I feel like completely under attack. You know what I mean? Like I'm under so much attack right now from the elements and the world. But yeah, <sighs> thank you, Sandy, um, for listening. And y'all, thank y'all for listening. You know, every day isn't perfect. I was on my live the other night talking about, you know, what it means to just be and I think I know there's a lot of emphasis being put on like how strong can you be how much can you take and you're so strong and all of these things and at the end of the day a lot of us aren't strong we just pretend to be strong because what's the use of showing people that you aren't strong if you're just gonna get beat up after sharing so I think a lot of times People just internalize things and I'm just not naturally a person that knows how to internalize things like I'm a very emotional conglomeration of a, of a human being you guys may not see it but I am like I love to cry it's therapeutic um, 
I love a good cuss word. It's therapeutic, okay? Everything is therapeutic for me. I love laughter. Emotions are very therapeutic no matter what form they come in for me. It's very therapeutic for me. So I just don't know how to be necessarily cookie cutter on this platform. So like my vlog life is pretty much my real life and my real feelings. So I always have to say, you know, thank you so much for you know just being here for me and I know I put up the video with the FAQ and that made some people mad and that's okay or whatever and I had to turn the comment section off on that and that's okay or whatever because I just felt like there was no need to go back and forth as Lil Duval says you gotta live your best life I ain't going back and forth with you you know um when I've already given an explanation there is no other explanation on top of the explanation it's like okay you asked me to answer these questions which I feel like were complete troll questions but I put myself out there enough to honor to an yes baby what but I, I i answered the questions as honestly as i could that's why i say there is no right way to um answer questions publicly because somebody is always going to have either another question for the answer that you gave or you know people are just gonna find something to pick apart and it's just like my answers were my answers so there was no conversation needed to be had either it's kind of it was just kind of like a listening moment you know what i mean it's just like okay you've asked me these questions you trolled me for these questions um you won't let it go i'm finally answering them and you're still not happy with them it's just like what what else do you want or what is it that is going to make you happy from the questions that i'm answering and when i find or when i feel that there is not going to be any resolution or any happiness brought to the questions that I've been pummeled to answer, then that's when I turn the comment section off because it's not a debate. It's not like a, oh, well, I'm going to disagree with your answer. It's not a disagreement, you know? It's kind of like asking somebody. It's, it's, it's not a disagreement when somebody gives you an answer to a personal question. Unless the answer is asked, unless the question is asked to you, you know what I mean? Like, a what would you do? Then that's when that comes. I mean, it, it's a lot, you guys. Um, and it is what it is. I just, it's just, it always befuddles me when somebody asks you an, a question, but they don't really want you to answer it. They want to answer what they feel that you should say because I answered the questions, right? I answered them and it's just like a, well, I, I want to disagree with you there. This isn't a quiz. It's not a debate. It's not up for a debate. Well, that portion was, you know, a lot of things are not up for debate. And that's why I turned the comment section off on that video and i know you guys are like probably one like she didn't address it you know she's just gonna woo, woo woo um there's no explanation if an answer is given you know and it, and i'm not open to and maybe this is the scorpio in me when i give a final answer that's my final answer if it's a yes it's a yes if it's a no it's a no there's no argument for me it's very clear and concise to me that's just the way that i am you know, you may not be that way. Other people may not be that way, and that's fine, but I can't get upset with an individual because they choose to live their life outside of the way that I live my life. That is just being very hyper critical of a person, and I don't deal with hyper criticism well. I deal with criticism as it is every day and I you know and people might think oh you can't tell her anything I work in an industry where people give their opinion every day of you and that's fine you know what I'm saying and I've been in this industry for so long I went to an art school where being criticized as a child was just something that you just had to get used to and then being in the music industry getting criticized as a person from the way you look down to the the tone of your voice I'm used to that so when it comes to a personal space for me, I demand control. 
and some people may say that's controlling or whatever but you know what i'm complete i'm fine with that like when you learn who you are and you become very okay with who you are you're okay with losing certain things in your life i call it losing weight you know what i mean losing weight is good okay it's good so if things make me lighter you know i'm okay with that but anyway yeah shout out to sandy for talking to me and you know i just picked my phone and um i'm gonna finish my cup of coffee and get these kids off to school again if you're interested in this cup the link will be below you can't find a paper napkin well here you go use this let's put your shoes on so we can go to school i hope that you guys have a good day and uh do i have any earrings I don't feel like, oh, I don't have on any eyebrows today. Oh my gosh, I don't have any shoes on my face. OMG. Okay. All right, see ya.